Question I have here for you. Have you thought about what really happens in a corpse's mind? Weird question, isn't it? Yeah, indeed it's weird. Because the day they're dead, 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 because of the, which means their minds are not operational, they're not running. But let's take a look. The Bible says in uh, John chapter 11 from verse, the whole 38, you read about Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. We'll just run down to verse 42. Just a little bit back. Father, I thank you that you have had me. I knew that you always hear me. But I say this on account of the people standing around that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died. The man who had died came out. Now, we all know that a dead man has no ability to hear. Mm -mm. He is gone. He cannot smell. He cannot even ha have the, you know, the room of the bed's pizza in town wake him up. He is gone. He cannot even say, wow, amazing. Uh -uh. He is gone. He is gone, God. He is dead. His senses are all dead. But the Bible says the dead man woke up. Lazarus responded to the voice of Jesus. Now, how does that happen? But we just get to know the answer from this. Jesus says, Father, I know you always hear me. Why? He is always in connection with God. God, Jesus has a spiritual connection with God. He is always in constant touch with God. He is with him in the spiritual and in the physical. And when he asks in the spiritual, it manifests in the physical realm. Jesus is a lot spiritually. Jesus is righteously connected. He is he is connected. You know, like our phones go connected. When you cannot read the other side. You have zzzz, bass, or you keep someone saying, let's say that again, say that again, and the combination is broken. But Jesus' lines are very clear and open, which unfortunately many of us lack as glam wives. We go and say, Father, I pray that my marriage, uh, but the same thing happens year after year. Your marriage seems to just be going lower and lower and lower. Why? Because we probably lack that connection. Our lines are kind of zzzz in the air. So you cannot command something to happen in the spiritual when you're not connected. No way, God, it just doesn't happen. You need to be connected. You need that connection to God. And when Jesus says, I know you hear me, he knows that God has the ability to reinstate Lazarus, his breath of life into Lazarus. And Lazarus comes back in the spirit, in the physical realm. Now, many of our marriage may have been glam for a certain period of time. Maybe four days ago, like Lazarus, things went back that. Maybe it's 10 years, maybe 30 years, and you have reached a point. You feel you have done everything culturally, physically, and you're like, mm -mm. if it was being the best wife, I would get a 2023 award. But God, the marriage is still failing. Your husband gives you this, and you're so, all of you are just losing it up every day. And maybe what you need to do right now is go back and say, Father, change me and get dipped and soaked up in his praises. And he will give you the power and authority and ability, all that it takes to warm and stand and say, my marriage, wake up from whatever pitch you had fallen into. And I do not care what demon is standing on your way. I do not care whether you're going to say that my village sent the worst ancestor that could ever come out of that grave. I don't care which witch doctor came after you. As long as you have stood in the presence of God and your heavenly lines are clear, girl. Wow, the beauty of the presence of God. The beauty of a wife who dwells in the presence of God is that she has the power and authority to stand and say, my marriage, wake up. My marriage, get glammed up once again because she is connected to God, the author of her marriage. She is connected to he who gives life to whatever situation. She is connected to he whom Ezekiel called out to under the dry bones came into flesh. She is connected to that creator, to her creator. I do not know where your marriage is standing right now, but if it has been dead like Lazarus was dead, I guarantee you that when you walk back into the presence of God and say, Lord, change me, and you dwell in his presence, he's going to give you the wisdom, the guidance, the ability to see my marriage. Wake up and your husband is going to start looking at you like, 
Why did you just do that? Why did you just put on even the dresses you used to put on every day? I never look at you. He's gonna be like, wow, you look amazingly smart. He's gonna talk to you and he sees glam flow out of you. Why? Because the presence of God leaves nobody the same. My prayer to God of recent has been, oh, my Father in heaven, let me dwell in your presence that everybody looking for me will find me in your presence. And no matter who comes looking for me, your presence will have to change them too. Father, I pray for a woman right now who feels her marriage has reached a point when she wants to give up, she wants to walk away. Maybe she's sleeping in different rooms today with her home, her husband. I pray that, Lord, you will give her the grace the ability to come back and say, Lord, change me, to stand in your presence and receive a restoration, that anointing that is going to get her husband out of that grave, her marriage out of that grave. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Because your word is power, your word is perfect. You who did it this before, you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Glam wife, I pray that the glory and the praises of God fill your marriage. He's the author of marriage. He will not let you down if you will only trust him and hold on to him. Lazarus dead, 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 cannot hear, cannot see, cannot speak. But he responded to the voice of Jesus. What does that take? Your marriage can respond to the voice.